The CIE 1931 color spaces were the first defined quantitative links between distributions of wavelengths in the electromagnetic visible spectrum, and physiologically perceived colors in human color vision. The mathematical relationships that define these color spaces are essential tools for color management, important when dealing with color inks, illuminated displays, and recording devices such as digital cameras. The CIE 1931 RGB color space and CIE 1931 XYZ color space were created by the International Commission on Illumination in 1931. They resulted from a series of experiments done in the late 1920s by William David Wright and John Guild. The experimental results were combined into the specification of the CIE RGB color space, from which the CIE XYZ color space was derived. The CIE 1931 color spaces are still widely used, as is the 1976 CIE LUV color space. Topic: Tristimulus values. The human eye with normal vision has three kinds of cone cells that sense light, having peaks of spectral sensitivity in short s, 420 nanometers to 440 nanometers, middle m, 530 nanometers to 540 nanometers, and long l. 560 nanometers to 580 nanometers wavelengths these cone cells underlie human color perception in conditions of medium and high brightness in very dim light color vision diminishes and the low brightness monochromatic night vision receptors denominated rod cells become effective Thus, three parameters corresponding to levels of stimulus of the three kinds of cone cells, in principle describe any human color sensation. Weighting a total light power spectrum by the individual spectral sensitivities of the three kinds of cone cells renders three effective values of stimulus. These three values compose a tristimulus specification of the objective color of the light spectrum. The three parameters, denoted S, M and L are indicated using a three-dimensional space denominated the LMS color space, which is one of many color spaces devised to quantify human color vision. A color space maps a range of physically produced colors from mixed light, pigments, etc. to an objective description of color sensations registered in the human eye, typically in terms of tristimulus values, but not usually in the LMS color space defined by the spectral sensitivities of the cone cells. The tristimulus values associated with a color space can be conceptualized as amounts of three primary colors in a trichromatic, additive color model. In some color spaces, including the LMS and XYZ spaces, the primary colors used are not real colors in the sense that they cannot be generated in any light spectrum. The CIE XYZ color space encompasses all color sensations that are visible to a person with average eyesight. That is why CIE XYZ tristimulus values is a device invariant representation of color. It serves as a standard reference against which many other color spaces are defined. A set of color matching functions, like the spectral sensitivity curves of the LMS color space, but not restricted to non-negative sensitivities, associates physically produced light spectra with specific tristimulus values. Consider two light sources composed of different mixtures of various wavelengths. Such light sources may appear to be the same color, this effect is denominated metamerism. Such light sources have the same apparent color to an observer when they produce the same tristimulus values, regardless of the spectral power distributions of the sources. Most wavelengths stimulate two or all three kinds of cone cell because the spectral sensitivity curves of the three kinds overlap. Certain tristimulus values are thus physically impossible, for example LMS tristimulus values that are non-zero for the M component and zero for both the L and S components. 
Furthermore, LMS tristimulus values for pure spectral colors would, in any normal trichromatic additive color space, e.g., the RGB color spaces, imply negative values for at least one of the three primaries because the chromaticity would be outside the color triangle defined by the primary colors. To avoid these negative RGB values, and to have one component that describes the perceived brightness, imaginary. Primary colors and corresponding color matching functions were formulated. The CIE 1931 color space defines the resulting tristimulus values, in which they are denoted by X, Y, and Z. In XYZ space, all combinations of non negative coordinates are meaningful, but many, such as the primary locations 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1, correspond to imaginary colors outside the space of possible LMS coordinates. Imaginary colors do not correspond to any spectral distribution of wavelengths and therefore have no physical reality. Topic. Meaning of X, Y and Z When judging the relative luminance brightness of different colors in well-lit situations, humans tend to perceive light within the green parts of the spectrum as brighter than red or blue light of equal power. The luminosity function that describes the perceived brightnesses of different wavelengths is thus roughly analogous to the spectral sensitivity of M cones. The CIE model capitalizes on this fact by setting Y as luminance. Z is quasi equal to blue, or the S cone response, and X is a mix of response curves chosen to be non negative. The XYZ tristimulus values are thus analogous to, but different from, the LMS cone responses of the human eye. Setting Y as luminance has the useful result that for any given Y value, the XZ plane will contain all possible chromaticities at that luminance. The unit of the tristimulus values X, Y, and Z is often arbitrarily chosen so that Y <laughs> 1 or Y 100 is the brightest white that a color display supports. The corresponding white point values for X and Z can then be inferred using the standard illuminance. Topic: <coughs> CIE standard observer. Due to the distribution of cones in the eye, the tristimulus values depend on the observer's field of view. To eliminate this variable, the CIE defined a color mapping function called the standard colorimetric observer, to represent an average human's chromatic response within a 2 degrees arc inside the fovea. This angle was chosen owing to the belief that the color-sensitive cones resided within a 2 degrees arc of the fovea. Thus the CIE 1931 standard observer function is also known as the CIE 1931 2 degrees standard observer. A more modern but less used alternative is the CIE 1964 10 degrees standard observer, which is derived from the work of Stiles and Birch, and Speranskaya. For the 10 degrees experiments, the observers were instructed to ignore the central 2 degrees spot. The 1964 supplementary standard observer function is recommended when dealing with more than about a 4 degrees field of view. Both standard observer functions are discretized at 5 nm wavelength intervals from 380 nm to 780 nm and distributed by the CIE. All corresponding values have been calculated from experimentally obtained data using interpolation. The standard observer is characterized by three color matching functions. The derivation of the CIE standard observer from color matching experiments is given below, after the description of the CIE RGB space. <laughs> color matching functions The CIE's color matching functions X 
lambda display style overline x lambda y lambda display style overline y lambda and z lambda display style overline z lambda are the numerical description of the chromatic response of the observer described above they can be thought of as the spectral sensitivity curves of three linear light detectors yielding the CIE tristimulus values X, Y and Z collectively. These three functions are known as the CIE standard observer. Other observers, such as for the CIE RGB space or other RGB color spaces, are defined by other sets of three color matching functions, and lead to tristimulus values in those other spaces. Topic. Computing XYZ from spectral data Topic. Emissive case The tristimulus values for a color with a spectral radiance La, omega, lambda are given in terms of the standard observer by X equals lambda L E Omega Lambda Lambda X Lambda D Lambda Display style X equals int underscore Lambda L underscore Math from E Omega Lambda Lambda overline X Lambda D Lambda Y equals Lambda L E Omega Lambda Lambda Y Lambda D Lambda Display style Y equals int underscore Lambda L underscore Math from E Omega Lambda Lambda overline Y Lambda D Lambda Z equals Lambda L E Omega Lambda Lambda Z Lambda D Lambda Display style Z equals int underscore Lambda L underscore Math from E Omega Lambda Lambda overline Z Lambda D Lambda Where Lambda display style lambda is the wavelength of the equivalent monochromatic light measured in nanometers and customary limits of the integral are lambda element of 380 780 display style lambda in 380780 the values of x, y, and z are bounded if the radiance spectrum la, omega, lambda is bounded. Topic. Reflective and transmissive cases The reflective and transmissive cases are very similar to the emissive case, with a few differences. The spectral radiance la, omega, lambda is replaced by the spectral reflectance or transmittance s lambda of the object being measured, multiplied by the spectral power distribution of the illuminant I lambda. X equals K N lambda S lambda I lambda X Lambda D Lambda Display style x equals frac k n int underscore lambda s lambda i lambda overline x lambda d lambda y equals k n lambda s lambda i Lambda Y Lambda D Lambda 
Display style y equals frac k n int underscore lambda s lambda i lambda overline y lambda d lambda z equals k n lambda s lambda i lambda z lambda d Lambda Display style Z equals frac K N int underscore Lambda S Lambda I Lambda overline Z Lambda D Lambda Where N equals Lambda I Lambda Y Lambda D Lambda Display style n equals int underscore lambda i lambda overline y lambda d lambda k is a scaling factor, usually one or one hundred, and lambda display style lambda is the wavelength of the equivalent monochromatic light measured in nanometers, and the standard limits of the integral are lambda element of 380 780 display style lambda in 380780 topic CIEXY chromaticity diagram and the CIEXYY color space Since the human eye has three types of color sensors that respond to different ranges of wavelengths, a full plot of all visible colors is a three-dimensional figure. However, the concept of color can be divided into two parts, brightness and chromaticity. For example, the color white is a bright color, while the color gray is considered to be a less bright version of that same white. In other words, the chromaticity of white and gray are the same while their brightness differs. The CIEXYZ color space was deliberately designed so that the Y parameter is a measure of the luminance of a color. The chromaticity is then specified by the two derived parameters X and Y, two of the three normalized values being functions of all three tristimulus values X, Y, and Z. X equals X X plus Y plus Z display style X equals frac X X plus Y plus Z Y equals Y X plus Y plus Z Display style y equals frac y x plus y plus z z equals z x plus y plus z equals one minus x minus y Display style z equals frac z x plus y plus z equals one x y. The derived color space specified by x y and y is known as the CIEXYY color space and is widely used to specify colors in practice. The x and z tristimulus values can be calculated back from the chromaticity values x and y and the y tristimulus value x equals y y x display style x equals frac y y x z equals y y 1 minus x minus y Display style z equals frac y y one x y. The figure on the right shows the related chromaticity diagram. The outer curved boundary is the spectral locus, with wavelengths shown in nanometers. 
Note that the chromaticity diagram is a tool to specify how the human eye will experience light with a given spectrum. It cannot specify colors of objects, or printing inks, since the chromaticity observed while looking at an object depends on the light source as well. Mathematically the colors of the chromaticity diagram occupy a region of the real projective plane. The chromaticity diagram illustrates a number of interesting properties of the CIEXYZ color space. The diagram represents all of the chromaticities visible to the average person. These are shown in color and this region is called the gamut of human vision. The gamut of all visible chromaticities on the CIE plot is the tongue-shaped or horseshoe-shaped figure shown in color. The curved edge of the gamut is called the spectral locus and corresponds to monochromatic light, each point representing a pure hue of a single wavelength, with wavelengths listed in nanometers. The straight edge on the lower part of the gamut is called the line of purples. These colors, although they are on the border of the gamut, have no counterpart in monochromatic light. Less saturated colors appear in the interior of the figure with white at the center. It is seen that all visible chromaticities correspond to non-negative values of x, y, and z, and therefore to non-negative values of x, y, and z. If one chooses any two points of color on the chromaticity diagram, then all the colors that lie in a straight line between the two points can be formed by mixing these two colors. It follows that the gamut of colors must be convex in shape. All colors that can be formed by mixing three sources are found inside the triangle formed by the source points on the chromaticity diagram, and so on for multiple sources. An equal mixture of two equally bright colors will not generally lie on the midpoint of that line segment. In more general terms, a distance on the CIEXY chromaticity diagram does not correspond to the degree of difference between two colors. In the early 1940s, David McAdam studied the nature of visual sensitivity to color differences, and summarized his results in the concept of a McAdam ellipse. Based on the work of McAdam, the CIE 1960, CIE 1964, and CIE 1976 color spaces were developed with the goal of achieving perceptual uniformity, have an equal distance in the color space correspond to equal differences in color. Although they were a distinct improvement over the CIE 1931 system, they were not completely free of distortion. It can be seen that, given three real sources, these sources cannot cover the gamut of human vision. Geometrically stated, there are no three points within the gamut that form a triangle that includes the entire gamut, or more simply, the gamut of human vision is not a triangle. Light with a flat power spectrum in terms of wavelength equal power in every one nanometer interval corresponds to the point x, y equals one third one third equals topic mixing colors specified with the CIEXY chromaticity diagram equals when two or more colors are additively mixed, the X and Y chromaticity coordinates of the resulting color X mix, y mix, may be calculated from the chromaticities of the mixture components X1, Y1, X2, Y2, Xn, Un, and the corresponding luminances L1, L2, Lane, with the following formulas. These formulas can be derived from the previously presented definitions of X and Y chromaticity coordinates by taking advantage of the fact that the tristimulus values X, Y, and Z of the individual mixture components are directly additive. In place of the luminance values L1, L2, etc., one can alternatively use any other photometric quantity that is directly proportional to the tristimulus value Y, naturally meaning that Y itself can also be used as well. As already mentioned, when two colors are mixed, the resulting color X mix, Y mix will lie on the straight line segment that connects these colors on the CIEXY chromaticity diagram. 
To calculate the mixing ratio of the component colors X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 that results in a certain X mix, Y mix on this line segment, one can use the formula. Where L1 is the luminance of color X1, Y1 and L2 the luminance of color X2, Y2. Note that because Y mix is unambiguously determined by X mix and vice versa, knowing just one or the other of them is enough for calculating the mixing ratio. Also note that, in accordance with the remarks concerning the formulas for X mix and Y mix, the mixing ratio L1 per liter the 2nd of May will be expressed in terms of other photometric quantities than luminance. Topic. Definition of the CIEXYZ color space Topic. CIE RGB color space The CIE RGB color space is one of many RGB color spaces, distinguished by a particular set of monochromatic single wavelength primary colors. In the 1920s, two independent experiments on human color perception were conducted by W. David Wright with ten observers, and John Guild with seven observers. Their results laid the foundation for the trichromatic CIEXYZ color space specification. The experiments were conducted by using a circular split screen a bipartite field two degrees in diameter, which is the angular size of the human fovea. On one side a test color was projected while on the other an observer adjustable color was projected. The adjustable color was a mixture of three primary colors, each with fixed chromaticity, but with adjustable brightness. The observer would alter the brightness of each of the three primary beams until a match to the test color was observed. Not all test colors could be matched using this technique. When this was the case, a variable amount of one of the primaries could be added to the test color, and a match with the remaining two primaries was carried out with the variable color spot. For these cases, the amount of the primary added to the test color was considered to be a negative value. In this way, the entire range of human color perception could be covered. When the test colors were monochromatic, a plot could be made of the amount of each primary used as a function of the wavelength of the test color. These three functions are called the color matching functions for that particular experiment. Although Wright and Guild's experiments were carried out using various primaries at various intensities, and although they used a number of different observers, all of their results were summarized by the standardized CIE RGB color matching functions R lambda display style overline R lambda G lambda display style overline G lambda and b lambda display style overline b lambda obtained using three monochromatic primaries at standardized wavelengths of 700 nanometers red 546.1 nanometers green and 435.8 nanometers blue the color matching functions are the amounts of primaries needed to match the monochromatic test primary these functions are shown in the plot on the right, CIE 1931. Note that R lambda display style overline R lambda and G lambda display style overline G lambda a zero at 435.8 nanometers R lambda display style overline r lambda and b lambda display style overline b lambda a 0 at 546.1 nanometers and g lambda display style overline g lambda and b lambda 
display style overline b lambda a zero at 700 nanometers, since in these cases the test color is one of the primaries. The primaries with wavelengths 546.1 nanometers and 435.8 nanometers were chosen because they are easily reproducible monochromatic lines of a mercury vapor discharge. The 700 nanometers wavelength, which in 1931 was difficult to reproduce as a monochromatic beam, was chosen because the eye's perception of color is rather unchanging at this wavelength, and therefore small errors in wavelength of this primary would have little effect on the results. The color matching functions and primaries were settled upon by a CIE special commission after considerable deliberation. The cutoffs at the short and long wavelength side of the diagram are chosen somewhat arbitrarily. The human eye can actually see light with wavelengths up to about 810 nanometers, but with a sensitivity that is many thousand times lower than for green light. These color matching functions define what is known as the 1931 CIE standard observer. Note that rather than specify the brightness of each primary, the curves are normalized to have constant area beneath them. This area is fixed to a particular value by specifying that 0 infinity r lambda d lambda equals 0 infinity g lambda D lambda equals zero infinity B lambda D lambda Display style int underscore zero carrot inf d overline r lambda d lambda equals int underscore zero carrot inf d overline g lambda d lambda equals int underscore zero carrot inf d overline b lambda d lambda the resulting normalized color matching functions are then scaled in the R, G, B ratio of 1 to 4.5907, 0.0601 for source luminance and 72.0962, 1.3791, 1 for source radiance to reproduce the true color matching functions. By proposing that the primaries be standardized, the CIE established an international system of objective color notation. Given these scaled color matching functions, the RGB tristimulus values for a color with a spectral power distribution S lambda display style S lambda would then be given by R equals zero infinity S lambda R Lambda D Lambda Display style R equals int underscore zero carrot inf D S lambda overline R lambda D lambda G equals zero infinity S lambda G lambda D Lambda display style g equals int underscore zero carrot inf d s lambda overline g lambda d lambda b equals zero infinity s lambda b lambda d lambda Display style b equals int underscore zero carrot inf d s lambda overline b lambda d lambda. These are all inner products and can be thought of as a projection of an infinite dimensional spectrum to a three-dimensional color. Topic: Grassmann's law. One might ask. 
Why is it possible that right and guilds results can be summarized using different primaries and different intensities from those actually used? One might also ask, what about the case when the test colors being matched are not monochromatic? The answer to both of these questions lies in the near linearity of human color perception. This linearity is expressed in Grassmann's law. The CIE RGB space can be used to define chromaticity in the usual way. The chromaticity coordinates are R, G, and B, where R equals R R, R plus G plus B. Display style R equals frac R R plus G plus B. G equals G R plus G plus B display style G equals frac G R plus G plus B B equals B R plus G plus B Display style B equals frac B R plus G plus B. Topic Construction of the CIE XYZ color space from the right guild data. Having developed an RGB model of human vision using the CIE RGB matching functions, the members of the Special Commission wished to develop another color space that would relate to the CIE RGB color space. It was assumed that Grassmann's law held, and the new space would be related to the CIE RGB space by a linear transformation. The new space would be defined in terms of three new color matching functions, x lambda display style overline x lambda y lambda display style overline y lambda and z lambda display style overline z lambda as described above the new color space would be chosen to have the following desirable properties the new color matching functions were to be everywhere greater than or equal to zero. In 1931, computations were done by hand or slide rule, and the specification of positive values was a useful computational simplification. The y lambda display style overline y lambda color matching function would be exactly equal to the photopic luminous efficiency function v lambda for the cie standard photopic observer the luminance function describes the variation of perceived brightness with wavelength the fact that the luminance function could be constructed by a linear combination of the rgb color matching functions was not guaranteed by any means but might be expected to be nearly true due to the near linear nature of human sight again the main reason for this requirement was computational simplification for the constant energy white point it was required that x topic y z equals one third. by virtue of the definition of chromaticity and the requirement of positive values of x and y it can be seen that the gamut of all colors will lie inside the triangle 1 0 0 0 0 1 it was required that the gamut fill this space practically completely it was found that the Z lambda display style overline Z lambda color matching function could be set to zero above 650 nanometers while remaining within the bounds of experimental error. For computational simplicity, it was specified that this would be so. In geometrical terms, choosing the new color space amounts to choosing a new triangle in RG chromaticity space. 
In the figure above right, the RG chromaticity coordinates are shown on the two axes in black, along with the gamut of the 1931 standard observer. Shown in red are the CIEXY chromaticity axes which were determined by the above requirements. The requirement that the XYZ coordinates be non-negative means that the triangle formed by CR, CG, C flat must encompass the entire gamut of the standard observer. The line connecting CR and C flat is fixed by the requirement that the Y lambda display style overline Y lambda function be equal to the luminance function. This line is the line of zero luminance and is called the Elishna. The requirement that the z lambda display style overline z lambda function be zero above 650 nanometers means that the line connecting CG and CR must be tangent to the gamut in the region of KR. This defines the location of point CR. The requirement that the equal energy point be defined by x. Topic y. One third puts a restriction on the line joining C flat and C G, and finally, the requirement that the gamut fill the space puts a second restriction on this line to be very close to the gamut in the green region, which specifies the location of C G and C flat. The above described transformation is a linear transformation from the CIE RGB space to XYZ space. The standardized transformation settled upon by the CIE Special Commission was as follows. The numbers in the conversion matrix below are exact, with the number of digits specified in CIE standards. X Y Z equals 1 B 21 B 11 B twelve B thirteen B twenty one B twenty two B twenty three B thirty one B thirty two B thirty three G B equals one zero point one seven six ninety seven zero point four nine O O O zero point three one O O O zero point two O O O O zero point one seven six ninety seven 0 0.812 40 0 0.010 63 0 0.000 00 0.010 00 00 00 00 00 00 00 990 RGB display style begin B matrix X Y Z end B matrix equals frac 1 B underscore 21 begin B matrix B underscore 11 and B underscore 12 and B underscore 13 B underscore 21 and B underscore 22 and B underscore 23 B underscore 31 and B underscore 32 and B underscore 33 3 end B matrix begin B matrix R G B end B matrix equals frac 1 0 0.176 97 begin B matrix 0 0.490 00 and 0 0.310 00 and 0 0.200 00 0 0.176 97 and 0 0.812 40 and 0 0.010 63 0 0.0 
and 0.00, and 0.990, end B matrix begin, B matrix R, G, B, end B matrix, while the above matrix is exactly specified in standards, going the other direction uses an inverse matrix that is not exactly specified, but is approximately, RGB, equals, 0.41847 minus 0.15866 minus 0.082835 minus 0.091169 0.015708 0.0009208 0.0028960XYZ display style begin B matrix R G V end B matrix equals begin B matrix 0.4184747 and minus 0.1586 and minus 0.0028280 135 minus 0 0.091 169 and 0 0.252 43 and 0 0.015 708 0 0.000 920 90 and minus 0 0.002 549 8 and 0 0.178 60 end B matrix C D O T begin B matrix X Y Z end B matrix Matrix, the integrals of the XYZ color matching functions must all be equal by requirement 3 above, and this is set by the integral of the photopic luminous efficiency function by requirement 2 above. The tabulated sensitivity curves have a certain amount of arbitrariness in them. The shapes of the individual X, Y and Z sensitivity curves can be measured with a reasonable accuracy. However, the overall luminosity curve, which in fact is a weighted sum of these three curves, is subjective, since it involves asking a test person whether two light sources have the same brightness, even if they are in completely different colors. Along the same lines, the relative magnitudes of the x, y, and z curves are arbitrary. Furthermore, one could define a valid color space with an x sensitivity curve that has twice the amplitude. This new color space would have a different shape. The sensitivity curves in the CIE 1931 and 1964 XYZ color spaces are scaled to have equal areas under the curves. Topic. See also Trichromacy Imaginary color Lab color space Standard illuminant, the definition of white point used by CIE and commonly shown in color space diagrams as E, D50 or D65.